let's talk about Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, but with spoilers this time. What's your favorite scary movie? Amen. Everybody, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today we're going to be talking about Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness with spoilers, so if you have not seen it yet, make sure to go see it, then check this out. But maybe you're thinking to yourself, I want to know what Jake thinks about this film. Should I go even, should I even go see it? You know, I, I don't know. I don't know, I, I, but I also don't want to get spoiled. Well, guess what? I made a spoiler-free review yesterday. You can check it out by clicking at this little card right here. Now getting into this spoiler review. So make sure if you have not seen the movie yet, I'm going to talk spoilers. Here we go. Let's, we're going. What, three, two, one, bam, spoilers. Spoilers coming out the gate. So, <laughs> starting this off for my my uh, horror fans out there specifically, let's talk a little bit about what Sam Raimi brought to the table with an MCU film. So, I know some people went into this movie thinking like, oh, I'm not really excited, you know, I'm not a big MCU guy, I'm much more of a horror fan, I love Sam Raimi though, so I'm gonna support this movie. And I totally understand that. Listen, I'm not the biggest MCU guy, Not not nothing that's like the most impressive things I've seen from, from the MCU. I think they're fun movies, they're good times all around. I think it, like Infinity War and Endgame are like masterpieces, those are really well done. But like some of the other ones kind of just pale in comparison. I, I And I think the biggest thing about it that Sam Raimi brings to the table here as a very seasoned director is he makes it so original and different. Like, it's something that I've never seen before in the MCU, and that's what I really appreciated about this. It's almost like he took everything from his past and kind of mixed it together into this one film. Like, you see elements of Evil Dead here. When you, like, go through um, when Wanda's being possessed by herself from another dimension, you could have made that a whole horror movie. Like, that on its own is just a whole great idea for a horror movie It was if it wasn't involved with the MCU at all. Like, a different, like, a yourself from another dimension possessing you because you have a different life. That would be an awesome horror movie, stand alone. Like, even if it had nothing to do with this, that would be, that's such a cool idea. And we get to see that a little bit in like a horror perspective when you get the Raimi cam running through the house running through Wanda's house so cool so well done such a great homage to Evil Dead and then we also get like little moments where it's like references to like really obscure Sam Raimi projects like Xena Princess Warrior um not this isn't as obscure but like drag me to hell like there's moments like that where like someone is being pulled into the ground by like a bunch of creepy hands and shit it's awesome I love it in a lot of ways, I kind of talked about this in my spoiler-free review, it feels like how malignant was to James Wan. Like, in a lot of ways, when you're watching that movie, you're like, oh, this is just like Insidious. Oh, that's just like Saw. And it's almost like this overture of everything that they've done before. And it's awesome. I love it. It's a celebration of Sam Raimi. And even if you're not a big fan of the MCU, you should go check this out for just that reason. I love what Sam Raimi brought to the table here, not just with that, but also with Danny Elfman's score. I mean, I know Sam Raimi may, might not have been involved with that, but I'm sure he was like, hey, let's do a horror movie score for a superhero film, which is like, what? Oh my god, that is so cool. There's little, like, musical cues throughout, where it's like, um, you hit, like, there's a piano note or something that gets hit, and it's just, like, super creepy, super scary. There's also jump scares throughout this, which are really well done and actually got me at some point. I, I can't even, like, you know, some mom took her kids to this thing and was just like, Jesus Christ, there are fucking jump scares in this movie. What the, I thought this was an MCU film. And I love this film for doing that. <laughs> the music is great. There's actually even a battle between two Doctor Stranges where they're literally fighting with music, which was so cool. You see Sam Raimi show off his, like, fever dream style here in a way that I've just never even seen before. We should be giving more money like this to horror directors because if this is what Sam Raimi can do, imagine what, like, Lee Wood Nell could do with like a shit ton of money. Oh my god. I can't suck Sam Raimi's dick any more than that. I absolutely love the guy. My god. Holy shit. 10 out of 10 from him. Diving into more of the MCU stuff though, that I'm sure some of my horror fans don't care about, but it's something that I, like was really important to me. Some of the past MCU films don't really dive into the actual guy behind the mask. That's a big problem for me personally. I really liked that we actually got to learn a little more about Stephen Strange and not just Doctor Strange going into some like badass fight scene. Like that's always cool. It's always cool to see like the characters fighting and like beating up some monster. We get to see that here it, right at the very beginning. We get to see um, Doctor Strange fighting like a bunch of like really creepy 
other dimensional uh, beings, which is really cool. But we actually get to learn about like the character himself and why he's doing certain things, how the uh, effects of um, or the events of Avengers Endgame affect his life now. Because he was dust for five years, he now like didn't get to get, be with the girl that he wanted to be with. Christine and we get to see a little more of that where he interacts with a Christine from another dimension a little bit here and I think that's really well done all those sequence sequences are very dramatic you get to see this like side of him that we don't really get to see in some of the other films sure in that first Doctor Strange we get to see that a little bit but it's developed here very very well and that's something scary when you jump from director to director I mean I know Scott Derrickson, Derrickson still served as an executive producer on this but with it not being him I think it was like something I was kind of worried about that maybe Sam Raimi wouldn't put a focus on, but if I've learned anything from watching any Sam Raimi movie, it's that to trust the guy. <laughs> Wanda or Scarlet Witch, whatever you want to call her, also has a really good arc throughout all of these films that I like where it went. You know, not every single hero is going to have a good hero ending. You know, some of them are going to turn and, and change into a bad guy. That's what I really liked about Wanda. Like, she, sure, she starts off as a good guy, but then, like, she starts having these selfish desires that ultimately turn her evil. And, like, that's how she ended up here and it kind of died <laughs> my, my thing about this though is like wasn't she like kicking ass this entire movie and basically near invincible the whole film and then like what a, a bunch of rocks take her out come on like I, I don't know if she's really dead or not the movie would lead you to believe that we're also working with a multiverse here so technically no one is really dead it, it, that's something that was kind of a theme throughout this film we literally see a dead doctor strange get possessed by doctor strange from another dimension which is one of the coolest parts of this whole movie the whole third act when it just goes full-blown sam raimi my god that was awesome I honestly thought when they buried the other doctor strange it was going to turn into a zombie because like we had kind of teased the whole like marvel zombies thing we had gotten that picture of a, a Doctor Strange that was like dead and like cut up and all that walking around but I didn't think that would actually be Doctor Strange like <laughs> being himself I thought that was a really cool little plot point there where he's like never said they had to be alive and it was like oh, no way oh my god zombie Doctor Strange so cool like just pure bliss pure candy pure Sam Raimi just awesomeness really my only gripe with the film was they just glossed over America's backstory like in two minutes and they like barely referenced it again throughout the entire film I wish they would have expanded upon that a little more you literally have the character wearing a jean jacket that says love is love in French and then she has like a, a rainbow pin on her. I wish she would have talked about that a little more and expressed how like, oh, she's traveled to different universes and realized homophobia was a thing. Like, that's horrible. I would have loved to have heard to like express that and like and talk to maybe confide in Doctor Strange about it a little more. Like to, to learn a little more about her character, how she views the entire multiverse and how like where she was from, that wasn't a thing. Now she goes to different multiverses and sees and sees like there's people who are totally against that and that's really fucked up. They are clearly setting something up with her her character though in this movie I mean Doctor Strange did say at one point like oh hey maybe you can go and find your parents now that you can control your power so there's that there's that aspect to it and hopefully she's in whatever the next Doctor Strange thing is I would love to see her again I actually like really liked her character and I can't say that about a lot of new uh, MCU characters so that's cool a few more little things I wanted to mention that I just couldn't work into my review is I loved Bruce Campbell's cameo my god maybe one of the best across any Sam Raimi film oh, it, was, it was hilarious Bruce Campbell's amazing and literally everything he's so funny here one once again now I have no idea who this character is because I'm not an MCU guy as you probably have noticed from my page and everything that I'm wearing right now I'm a horror fanatic I don't know too much about like the comic books who this character could possibly be maybe America's one of America's moms possibly who has the power to travel through different um like multiverses and all that that could be who this character is and that would be really cool if that was the case um Hopefully she we get to learn a little more about her in the next movie cut next couple of movies Of course we will because it's the MCU They like to give us little nuggets of information that they expand in later films That's why you keep coming back and that's why you got to see every single movie Even if it's the Eternals which fucking sucked I've always thought that the first Doctor Strange was super underrated and honestly I can I can confidently say I liked this movie a lot more So this franchise so far being a part of the MCU has been super underrated and, and probably will be still super overlooked Hopefully this movie gives us uh, sheds a little more light on that original Doctor Strange that I feel like I really loved and this one I liked even more. I would probably give it like an 8.5 or a 9 out of 10. I think 
think everybody absolutely killed it with this film, and I love Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. What did you guys think, though? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this review of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content and, you know, sometimes superhero content. If you want to support this channel further, make sure to support me on either Patreon or my channel memberships by just clicking that join button on my page and BAM! You're a channel member! That would be pretty sick if you guys did that. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching this video again, and as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all. Thank you.